Alright, I'm going to show you how to speed up your internet browser. In this case, Firefox. Go to the start menu. On the search bar, type in gpedit.msc. Hit enter. And we're going to go to administrator templates, network, QoS packet scheduler, limit reservable bandwidth. And it should be, it should say not configured. You want to click enabled, and by default it's 20%. You want to set it to zero, and that'll give you the most out of your internet connection. So once you've done that, apply, OK, and exit out. Now load up Firefox. Now on the address bar, type in about colon config. Hit enter. And if you never loaded this, a uh, warning screen will pop up saying, uh, do not go in and just ignore it. Now go to the filter bar, type in pipe lining. And go to network.http.pipelining. You're going to double click it and set it to true. And by default, it's false, so you can just make it true. Now go to max requests and double click. Set the value between 30 and 50. Now apply, okay. Now we're going to add another, we're going to add an integer. But I've already added, so I'm just going to type it in here. here. Right. Browser.cache.memory.capacity. You shouldn't have this in about colon config. Just if you don't have it, just add it in. New integer. Type it. Type it in. And then after you do that, a screen sh should pop up saying, "What do you want the value to be?" Set it. Uh, if you have a gig of memory, set it to sixteen thousand. Two gigabytes is thirty-two thousand. But before you do that, you need to make a new boolean. So click new boolean. Having browser.cache.memory.enable, and once you do that, you want to set the value to true before you can configure the cache.memory.capacity. And once you've done that, um, just you can get exit out of that. Now I'll go to tools, options, not options, my bad. Uh, Add-ons. If you have too many plugins, it might slow down your browser. Not necessarily your internet, just your browser. Um, some of these I don't use, like Microsoft Office plugin, but I've already disabled that. And Silverlight, I don't need that. And if you never use Firefox, you can click themes and you can get themes from their website. Extensions. One one extension I really recommend is AdBlock Plus. It like literally gets gets rid of every ad that comes up. Say I go to you, here now. I'll go to CNN.com. Say there's a ad that I don't want. Like um, see this is a picture, and you can right click it and click ad block image. But I don't need to. Cause it shows you the weather. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, I'll make more. Bye.